I've said it many times, I know I would change my ways, I know for sure When all the crows decide to meet They settle down beneath my feet I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on Come sit here with me by the fire And let it go for a little while So be here as the night starts falling Let my fingers walk over your head We got nothing to lose Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin Green and today we're going to do a rig slash campsite walk around kind of show you guys what our setup is some of the gear we have how we pack it uh, even though we have it unpacked right now i can kind of go through it and show you how we got the set up but i want to do a quick video show you what we had do a, a dedicated video on the rig and uh, kind of how we prepare to come out on a campsite so uh, anyhow let's go ahead get over here look at the truck and we'll start running through this stuff So for uh, any of you guys that are new to the channel and you haven't seen any of my other videos, I'll try to link some up above here. I think it's on this side. Um, but uh, we've done a little bit of, uh, of a tour of some of this stuff. We've done our first camping trip ever. It was the last video I posted, so be sure to check that one out. It was an amazing time, an amazing video. Um, but I do drive a 2016 Nissan Frontier. Uh, it is the Pro 4X, so it does have you know bigger tires on it. It comes with the roof rack. It has skid plates on it, so it's a little bit capable. Uh, it is four-wheel drive, and it has the rear lockers built into it. Um, but until I can get a lift and get some bigger tires and, and you know upgrade some things, we're just doing some basic camping trips right now. Um, so right now we're at uh, Rock Creek Recreation Area, and uh, I just want to tell you guys this is the truck I have. You can see the tent up on it. That is the uh, Overland Vehicle Systems Nomadic Extended 4. Uh, plenty of space in that thing um, we'll be sure to go in there and look at the insides of it but let me show you guys the inside of the truck real quick okay so now we got the uh, camera swapped around we're gonna do kind of a first-person view type thing here but uh, as you can see guys this is the inside of the Pro 4X I do have the uh, leather seats on it it's got some nice stitching there Pro 4X on it um, this one has all the bells and whistles I got the sunroof um, like I said, it does come with the rear lockers and all that, but this truck has all the bells and whistles on it. I bought it a couple months ago with 25,000 miles on it, and so far I absolutely love it. Hopefully this will eventually be my overlanding rig, but starting off with kind of what I got here, I just keep some simple uh, hand sanitizer here in the door. It comes in handy. I keep a nice pair of gloves down in here, um, kind of skull there. That pretty much wraps that door up. Not much going on there. Getting into the interior, I have just a simple uh, magnetic mount for my phone here. I do all my navigation and stuff straight from my cell phone. So it's right there, nice and uh, you know legible. I can see it very well going down the road. Um, also, I do have a uh, DJI Osmo Action that is gonna be what this is right here, it's pretty much just like a GoPro, but better. Uh, I'll fight anybody that wants to say any different than that. Moving on in here, I just keep a few little things, mostly junk under here. I got a speaker so we can have some music while we're on the campsite. I have a little tripod here that goes with the DJI Osmo. Uh, we always bring our tumblers with us, just cheap Walmart tumblers, Ozark. They work just as good as a Yeti, so don't go wasting your money on anything besides the Walmart ones because they are well, well worth it. Next up, um, we'll dive down in the glove box here. So just simple stuff. I got my uh, my concealed carry. It is a uh, SIG P365. Got it in an Alien Gear holster. I do have a last line of defense that uh, has the uh, option to carry a magazine with it. But um, yeah, I didn't, 
I didn't bring that one today. I just brought the uh, the old alien gear. Then down inside of here, I always keep some tums because you never know when your belly's gonna get tore up, especially if you're like me. Um, I got a little uh, Eagle Tack flashlight. This thing is super bright. I'm a big hunter, so I always keep my stealth cam. Uh, you can check your trail cameras with that. I just kind of keep it in here at all times. Um, also, I always keep a Leatherman Skeletal in the truck. You can do a lot of things with this. Pliers, knife, scissors, bunch of stuff. And then I keep the, um, the uh, little tool pack with it. It's like 21 bits. You can pretty much fix anything you want with that. And then the last thing is I keep a nice little um, uh, bone view battery bank, I guess you could say. It's a battery bank and a hand warmer. This goes with me when I go hunting. And then it also has a little flashlight on top, but you can charge your phone with it. If it gets cold, like I said, it works as a uh, hand warmer. This whole thing heats up. I take it when I go hunting. So I just try to keep it in here as a spare for charging my phone battery. And then that pretty much wraps up the glove box. Like I said, this one truck does come with the uh, uh, moon roof, I guess you would say on it. Uh, and then up here, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It's gonna be kind of dark. But up there, I keep a, um, a little Claymore uh, light. I'm not even sure what the model number on this thing is. But it's a, it's a light, as you can see, it puts light out on that side. You can move it around as a flashlight and even a red light, but it does, um, you can change the brightnesses on it, but it does have a little clip on it. You can clip it onto your hat, which is what I use it for. But I just keep it up here on my A-pillar on my car. So like at nighttime, if my, my lights aren't bright enough inside, these lights suck sometimes. I just pop that bad boy on and it lights up the cab of the truck for me. And then when I'm camping, I keep it on the bill of my hat. And then that way, um, you know, I use it as a headlamp around campsite at night. So you'll probably see me with that on my head here later. Um, this truck comes with a uh, sunglass holder. I use this sometimes, but I'm thinking about re purposing this just to have I don't know maybe something in there I don't know what I'll keep in it but I thought thinking about repurposing that hole just to, to kind of put some random stuff in so uh, let's go ahead and move into the back seat here um, so initially opening up the door on the back seat I keep some uh, refills for my thermosel keeps the mosquitoes away this thing is nice I'm not gonna lie it really does work and then I keep some heavy-duty contractor bags just for random purposes there's six or seven of these contractor bags but we use these when we're out camping keep all of our trash in um, so Talking about the inside of the truck, obviously this is Rocker Wayne's seat here. It's where he rides, he chills. This is his captain's seat. And then behind the seat here, I keep a, um, a Boulder Outdoors Pro Tire Deflator Kit. So basically this thing, if I can get it open one-handed here, uh, you can deflate all of your tires at one time and then it does come with a tire gauge as well But you can kind of deflate all your tires uh, At the same time you just screw them into the tire uh, Itself and it will deflate. I keep a Bible back here. I keep some uh, spare uh, Deodorant so you know you don't stink. There's an extra pair of gloves down in here and uh, got a can koozie, which I'll be using that here in a few minutes. I'm getting thirsty. Um, moving along underneath the front seat, the driver's seat right here, I have a um, tire repair kit. So you can plug a tire if you know if you were to, to get a flat, it just fits perfectly up and under there. So that is where I decided to keep it. Um, we'll move around onto the other side of the back seat now get this closed up so opening up the other back seat there's a little more gear back here so right now I just got some uh, spare fleece hoodie in case it was to get chilly I don't think it's going to tonight but then Rocker's got his hat then I have the um, Potec um, this is a jump starter slash uh, you can air up your tires with it slash it as a battery bank so you can keep everything nice and charged. Rocker wants his hat. You getting your hat, buddy? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it looks good. 
Um, but anyways, you can uh, charge a bunch of stuff, USB, and it has 120 on the back. So this thing has many purposes. We used it on our last trip to keep Riker's iPad running all night and it ran all night and it didn't even look like it phased the battery on this thing. So that worked out really well for me. But moving along, I don't have a pocket on this seat. We have hidden underneath the back seat here is a uh, first aid kit. I have a extra bottle of bungee cords. I have a um, some, you know, uh, natural gloves. I use these for cooking. Never know when you're going to have an emergency or blood you're going to have to handle. Anything like that. I keep these gloves in here. They're just handy to have, especially cooking around the campfire. If you're touching raw meat, you don't have to wash your hands. And then the Pro 4X itself come with a um, it come with a first aid kit. So I've got that underneath. And then underneath here. There is some tie-off points that you can use into the bed of the truck on these Pro 4Xs. Uh, we got Riker's vest in case we were to go do any swimming. And I know we, I just keep, um, you know, uh, microfiber cloth towels just kind of strung throughout the truck and hidden in random places because you can never have enough towels. And then with the seat raised up, um, I have uh, my Keen uh, water shoes slash hiking shoes here. You can get these fully submerged, fully wet. Down in between the seat there, I keep my um, uh, visor, that privacy visor, sun visor. And then back here, Velcroed to the back of the seat. This just has a bunch of random charging cords for iPhones, Androids, uh, micro USB, USB-C, just a bunch of random charging cords in case I ever needed to charge something. I should have what I need right here. So that's the back seat. Next, we're gonna move up to the front. And then over here, we've got a bottle of water, uh, just some random stuff Riker keeps around here. We can put the tums back up now since we're done with those. Um, anything under this seat, nothing under here. Typical glove box things, rags, uh, tissues things like that and then in this one a bunch of uh, napkins just for cleaning purposes so that's pretty much what i keep on the inside of the truck for the most part and then also while we're driving all of this gear stays in the back so uh, one of my buddies i work with actually hooked me up with these two bags here this one uh, we just packed down with mine and rocker's clothes and an extra set of shoes and stuff and it's a pretty big bag and it's pretty expendable but uh, it does seem to carry all of mine and his stuff in there together. This bag he also gave me is a London Bridge uh, Trading Company bag. It's just a really nice bag that you can keep a lot of gear in. A lot of a lot of stuff goes in there, so uh, we like to uh, we like to use this bag. I keep my camera equipment in there, my extra batteries. I have some cords, things like that that just kind of stay in there. So um, my 70 to 200 lens, everything's in there, and then Beth has her bag of clothes. Uh, all that gets packed into the back seat here beside Riker, along with our dry food containers. So uh, we keep coffee, got a couple bags of chips to go with dinner tonight. And then inside our dry food container, I'll show you a quick pick, quick peek, I should say. Uh, we've got, you know, some beanie weenies, uh, all of our bread and hot dog buns, spam, uh, ranch, got some pop tarts in there coffee creamer, Oreos, uh, bananas, just, you know, simple stuff. We're only gonna be here on this trip for a night, so didn't have to bring a whole lot of food, but that's what I do have. We just kind of keep it in that Tupperware and everything seems to work out right. Riker brought some of his homemade uh, bows and arrows and his bicycle, there's Riker and his chairs. Yep, and then also on the trips, here's Miss Bethy. On the trips, we like these uh, front runner chairs. So these things are super sweet. I will have Beth hold the camera real quick and I'll show you how these chairs fold up and how they're so convenient to bring. So let me swap the camera over to her. Give me just a second. All right, so these are the front runner chairs. You can see I'm just shy of six foot, 220 pounds, holds me fine. It's nice and comfortable. It has a little bit of a lean to it. But the reason 
that I like these chairs and the reason that you're gonna see these a lot on YouTube especially is for the um, the, the packability of them and, and the fact that you can just fold them up and there you go chairs ready to pack up and fold out and then like I said when you're done or get where you want to go just simply raising it up spreading it out and setting it up it has a nice little cup holder here you've got a little pocket on this side you can keep your cell phone and stuff in along with another little pocket there but uh yeah that's uh that's basically what you got on these they're super compact and they just make for all around great camp chairs so that's what we decided to go with front runner uh, be sure to check them out i'll leave links on all the stuff you're seeing here in the description down below so just scroll down and um if you want to buy anything be sure to click on the links that supports the channel supports us allows us to keep making more videos for you guys because uh, we get a little bit of kickback from amazon so if you decide you want to buy something please go down and uh, use the links and help support the channel here and we'll keep bringing you guys some awesome stuff so let's keep moving on we got a little bit left on the video here okay moving along to the back of the truck as you can see right here i have a set of uh, Amazon Max Tracks. They're not true Max Tracks, but I just used a couple of, uh, you know, uh, ratchet straps, and I just got one on the front, one on the back, and I just run them across through there, and that kind of holds them up there, nice and neat. So those work out great. Could come in handy if you ever try to get in a spot when you get stuck. And with me not having, you know, all-terrain tires or a lift or anything, at some point we could get stuck so it's nice to have those um, next up i have the uh, overland vehicle systems nomadic four rooftop tent this is the extended version this thing is huge it's bigger than a king size bed when it's all unfolded us three fit in it super well so uh we yeah we like it i'll get up in there and show you guys a video we may do a dedicated tent video on that one um, and then I've got the tent setting on a hot metal fabs um, Bed rack, so I found them online. They're based out of California, I believe But um, their bed rack system is pretty nice. It bolts up directly to the uh, Frontiers bed rail system so you can see there it's fabricated it just wraps right around and uh, bolts right into the system but they were fairly inexpensive considering and uh, it does come as bare metal. I painted this thing with some bed liner type rough heavy duty paint. Um, I have a Fiskars 22 inch axe mounted on the side of this. I got to use this axe last weekend. Let me tell you, this thing is freaking awesome. Um, I think uh, Mike over at Last Line of Defense does a pretty good review on this axe. So you may want to go check him out and see if that's something you're interested in. On the other side, I have a uh, black and decker shovel mounted to the bed rail and what i'm using to mount these guys are quick fists these things just uh, i've got them bolted right to the middle on the uh, bed rack and then they just kind of quick connect and, and wraps around anything kind of you want to mount to it um, inside the bed of the truck i keep some spare water up there uh, i didn't bring any gas on this trip because we're pretty close to civilization we're in a, an established campground so i didn't really need any gas but i do have a igloo 52 quart cooler and uh, we keep all of our drinks food and everything in there so we got some lunchables hot dogs brats eggs um, plenty of water and gatorade and mountain dews down in the bottom so that worked out <clears throat> really well and then uh uh, <clears throat> over here is the tub that kind of has all of our gear in it I did go through quite a bit of this in my last video so be sure to check it out but this just has all the camping stuff that we need our cooking stuff propane tanks coffee pot the lights and lanterns to use around the campfire bear spray we have um, some soap and then even our uh, camp stove propane stove that we'll be doing all the cooking on so all that gear just kind of goes in this tub it stays in this tub when i get home the tub itself goes in my garage and when we're ready to go camping i just grab it and slide it up in there 
those two plus our portable bathroom which you guys can see over there we'll show you that in a minute all that goes together um, and fits in the bed of the truck along with rocker's bicycle so we can get quite a bit in the back of this little uh, baby frontier here so don't be don't be uh, surprised to see how much gear you can get in them and i guess last but not least i will show you i have this little privacy tent I don't even know the brand. I bought it off Amazon. I'll find it and I'll leave a link to it. But you can use this as a changing room. You can use it as a shower. Um, we use it as a bathroom with our little Camco toilet. So uh, I don't even know if Riker flushed it. Yep. So it's got a little toilet. You can use a little pump back there, pump water in it. And then it has a little gate valve right here. And you can use the bathroom. You can store, I think, up to two and a half gallons of water up top. And the base holds five gallons of waste. So, um, you can do your business. We do have uh, bathrooms here on the site, but in the middle of the night, if I wanna get up, I don't wanna walk way over that way. I can just get out of my tent, come over here, use the bathroom, and go back to bed in the middle of the night. All right, guys, so that's our little rig, campsite walk around. That's the things we have. Like I said, I'll be sure to leave all the links down in the description below if there's anything you see here that you're interested in go to the amazon links down below click on it buy something there and you'll support the channel and allow us to keep coming out here and you know making this content for you guys so that would be really awesome uh, be sure share this for me uh, like it give me a thumbs up that helps leave a comment down below let me know what your favorite camping spot is we're from northeast tennessee we're at rock creek right now it seems to be really nice really quiet campground so be sure to let us know uh, what your favorite campsite is down below somewhere near northeast tennessee or even if it's not near let me know hopefully we can eventually try to check out all these places but without further ado guys we appreciate y'all for watching be sure to turn on the notification bell so you'll know every time i post a new video we're going to get out of here and have a good time and get ready to cook some supper so we'll see you guys in the next video